What up? Sipping on some creatine. Um, I just got this box in today. I am stoked as fuck. Where did my knife go? You guys get to see me opening it. See what I got. Pretty sure I know what I got. Told me, but I don't know if I got samples or full bottles of the supplements. Um, talked to the co-creator of NLA Performance. See that right there? Uh, he was following me on Twitter, and uh, so I uh, said, you know, I'll promote you guys if uh, I can try some of your supplements because I, you know, you can't really, you have to order them, you can't really get them in stores or anything. Cool little booklet. Damn, she's fine. Uh, cool little booklet. He said he was sending me some Sup D, which is their pre-workout. Looks pretty rad. And Swollen, their new nitric oxide booster, uh, which it's been a while since I've uh, taken any NO. This is strictly NO based products. Oh, shit. So he did send me full bottles. Nice. There it is. Sup D. Uh, no arginine. Looks pretty rad to me. Um, from what I've read on different supplement review websites, the stuff is supposed to be very, very solid product. Um, I'm extremely excited to try this. I took back my other pre-workout because I wanted to uh, have a couple days off of simulants before I try it so I get the full effect. Um, 40 servings. Serving size is a full scoop. And yeah, full bottle of swollen as well. This looks pretty sweet. I like that blue and white capsules. It's all in here. Some stuff that I can't pronounce. But it's nitro oxide booster. So I'll let you guys know. I just wanted you to watch my unboxing. Is this stuff edible? I'm pretty hungry. But, uh, yeah. This is the stack that I got from NLA Performance. Um, I think it's their ultimate, it's called their ultimate pre workout stack, Swollen and SUPD. So, I will be doing a review here in the next maybe two or three weeks. Um, I want to get the complete full effect of each of these. I'm extremely excited to try these. Because uh, they're not so mainstream, so you know they're not going to be like just a bunch of hype. You know, some bodybuilders saying like, "Oh yeah, this is how I got huge." I'm stoked. Uh, and then today, I figure I'd let you guys know about this too. Um, I haven't had creatine in a while, uh, so today I took when I took back the Nano Vapor. Um, this shit was on sale for like 19 bucks, so I was able to get two, and it only cost me six dollars. Uh, because of my return. And so I'm starting that today. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be doing the review for those here pretty soon. Uh, in the next couple weeks, let you guys know how it goes and everything. Check out NLA Performance. Uh, I think they have like Facebook, Twitter. Um, I'm not sure if they have a YouTube account or not, but I assume they probably do. Um, uh, as most of you know, if you're, if you're a subscriber, you probably already know this. I've been on a bulk for a while now, uh, and it's going really well. I have seen strength gains in fucking everything. Um, and this is a quote from, from Chris Jones. He said, most people are scared to bulk because they don't know how to cut. And so after he said that, I was just like, man, that's fucking true. Like, that's why I was freaked out when I was worried about cutting afterwards, you know, if I was going to gain too much fat. But, I mean, the more you think about it, really, like, Dieting really isn't that hard, uh, and the strength gains and the size that I've seen so far is worth it. My arms are actually bigger now um, in the last couple months. I think I've been on this bulk for like three months now, two months, three months, I can't remember. Uh, but I measured my bicep or my arm yesterday and uh, with a pump, 
and 17 is, or like right under 17, like very, very close to 17. And I've been stuck at around in between 16 and 16 and a half for fucking too damn long. All right. So um, if you guys are feeling like, you know, if you're like a heavier guy starting out weightlifting, you try and lose weight, and you're feeling like you're not getting as much strength gains as you'd like, try to go on a bulk. And you don't have, it doesn't have to be some dirty shit, you know, where you're just eating fucking McDonald's all the time. Although you would you would probably still gain muscle because there's quite a bit of protein and and all the extra calories that you need. Uh, you could you could go on a completely clean bulk, just mimic what you see people writing about on bodybuilding.com or what you hear people on here like J.R. Barthel or uh, Mark Loveliner talking about. Um, mine is really basic. I'm just at, at a caloric. Uh, like a higher caloric intake than I was before by a couple hundred calories and I'm not even really counting calories or anything I'm just eating more uh, eating when I'm hungry and getting as much protein and carbs as I can and you know of course gotta have your fats as well uh, but yeah so I will get that review up for NLA performance like I said really fucking stoked check them out they seem pretty damn legit and all their supplements have good reviews on them um, comment, subscribe, like, and all that shit. Peace.